Today we're driving through the downtown core of the city of Toronto in Canada. We are testing the Essentia EM2 electromagnetic meter and we're going to monitor the radiation from CN Tower, which is one of the tallest buildings in the world. It's also a transmitter of microwave radiation from a radome situated directly below the rotating restaurant. Also on top is an antenna mast for transmitting FM radio stations, television, radio, AM radio, and uh, uh, transmissions of all types. Um, as we pass through the core, you're going to see that the radiation level from the CN Tower and other uh, transmitters such as cell phone uh, uh, transmitters is going to create incredibly high levels of radiation. So the, uh, the limits uh, discussed by the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation is uh, 450 microwatts per square centimeter, which is uh, which is just into the orange region on the meter, and uh, the Health Canada Safety Code 6 limit is 0.2 to 0.6 milliwatts per square centimeter, which is in the red region on the meter. Now it's uh, minus 4 degrees Celsius outside, it's winter in, in Toronto, and uh, we're approaching the hot zone now. Um, right now we're, uh, we've surpassed 0.1 milliwatts per square centimeter, um, so we're getting into the uh, dangerous region, even according to uh, Health Canada and, uh, and the International Commission. Uh, just to uh, discuss a few studies that have been done on uh, the health effects of, of electromagnetic radiation. Um, Egger, 2004, in Germany, uh, did a study where he found after five years of exposure within 400 meters of cell towers, uh, 1.26 times increase in cancer levels. After 10 years exposure, uh, three times uh, increase in cancer levels. And you can see that on the meter that the reading is already above one milliwatt per square centimeter. This is uh, almost double the Health Canada safety limit and uh, it is uh, three times the, uh, the International Commission's limit. Uh, as we pass by the CN Tower uh, on our right, you're going to see that the levels is going to increase to around uh, 10 milliwatts per square centimeter, which is 20 times the Health Canada accepted limit for uh, electromagnetic radiation. Uh, other studies uh, that have uh, uh, shown the health effects, uh, Wolf in 2007 in Israel, he uh, uh, determined that uh, within 350 meters of cell towers, there was a four times increase in uh, cancer uh, incidence, and especially for women, there was a ten times increase in cancer. Um, studies in uh, France and, uh, and uh, Spain uh, found um, within 300 meters there were uh, there were uh, many side effects. Um, as you can see, as we're passing by the CN Tower, we're bouncing up to 10 milliwatts per square centimeter, between 1 and 10 milliwatts per square centimeter. So we'll discuss those uh, health concerns further. Um, within 300 meters of cell towers, uh, incidents of uh, headache, fatigue, sleep disorders, depression, um, all of these things. And these are levels uh, around uh, 0.1 milliwatt per square centimeter and up is where you'll find these effects. So right now we're bouncing around 1 to 10 milliwatts per square centimeter as we pass through the core. Uh, if you look at the meter through the windshield, you can see the readings uh, quite clearly. Uh, other health effects, uh, uh, DNA damage is uh, one of the most cited uh, uh, effects. There's been 50 independent studies that low intensity microwaves, much below the levels that we're finding here. And this is a leading uh, indicator for, uh, for the cause of cancer.